Who needs Chef Boyardee whenever you can make your own spaghetti in a jar? Let's kick Chef Boyardee to the curb and make our own. My homemade sauce is always a little more watery and runny anyway, so I'm not gonna add any extra water or to the sauce to make our noodles with. Editing Kim here. I just needed to pop in and tell you something. This is a Rebel Canner recipe. Uh, it is not an alphabet agency approved recipe. So if you're not comfortable with canning outside the lines, that's totally understandable and you should skip this. For those of you who are comfortable canning a bit outside the lines and canning pasta, I'm just sharing this, showing what I do. I'm comfortable with it and so this, I'm a bit of a rebel. <laughs> We prefer to use thin spaghetti whenever I'm making like a fresh pot of spaghetti. Um, but for the jars of spaghetti, I use regular so it's thicker. Um, I find that that keeps it from getting mushy or overcooking. I don't really know how much spaghetti I'm gonna end up using, so I'm just gonna break it up. I can always put it in a jar and use it for more sauce later. I find that if the pieces are smaller, they fit in the jar a little better. They cook up good. They're easier to eat out of the jar. Directions I follow call for a third of a cup per pint jar of noodles. I am doing these 12 ounce jars because I feel like that's pretty good size just for the girls to eat a spaghetti. So that's what I'm gonna put in here. I have a hot jar that I drop my noodles into. Put our sauce in here. I'm gonna fill it with sauce to one inch headspace. Especially with the noodles, it's important to debubble, kind of stir it up. See, that gained us some more headspace for more sauce. Wipe the rim. There we go. We're gonna fill our canner up with the jars. Okay, the canner's full and ready to go down. We're gonna lower this down, put the lid on, and keep an eye on it. Whenever it starts boiling, a hard rolling boil, we start our timer. It needs to go for 35 minutes in the water bath canner. It's two pound box of spaghetti and a whole batch of homemade spaghetti sauce that I really, I did not cook this down all the way. I have cooked it down for a little while this morning, but I didn't cook it down as much as if you were just gonna use it for sauce because I wanted the extra liquid for cooking the noodles. But anyway, so one batch of homemade spaghetti sauce and two pounds of noodles. You can see there's not a whole lot left. There's probably enough for one more jar of each of these, but my canner is full. I have 14 of those little 12 ounce jars in here. All right, they're in, they're covered with water. So we're gonna let them do their thing. Timer is up. I let them rest for about 10 minutes with the lid on and then, and you know, obviously turned off the burner. I lifted them up. They've been sitting here for about five minutes. So now we're gonna move them to a towel, let them rest and hopefully seal. Ooh, look how beautiful. Skitty. There's our Chef Boy R. Kim. <laughs> our at home Chef Boy R. D. Look at there. I wanna pop one open and heat it up and have a quick lunch or dinner.